A new trailer for AEW Fight Forever video game has been released. Full Gear surpasses $1 million in live gate revenue. We've got a CM Punk injury update and more. PlayStation has revealed a new trailer for the upcoming AEW Fight Forever video game. They push the features of the game, which includes a deep career mode, create a wrestler, different match types including lights out and weapons. A release date for AEW Fight Forever has not yet been announced. The final image of the trailer shown is what appears to be new box art. CM Punk, who originally was said to be on the cover of the game, is no longer on the cover as a result of his suspension in AEW. And speaking of CM Punk, Colt Cabana's return has only made things worse regarding the relationship between CM Punk and AEW. Cabana wrestled Chris Jericho on the November 2nd Dynamite in his first appearance for AEW since early March not including ROH shows or Fight Forever promotions. His return furthered speculation that his absence was due to Punk's influence within the company. Our own Dave Meltzer reported in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Cabana's return has driven a further wedge between Punk and AEW. Meltzer wrote, Cole Cabana wrestling Chris Jericho only made things worse as far as issues with the two sides. Punk remains adamant that he had nothing to do with Cabana being gone. Punk is currently rehabbing the torn triceps he suffered at AEW All Out. Regarding his contractual status, he is still under contract to AEW and his merchandise has been sold at recent live events. It was reported last month that the two sides were negotiating a buyout of his deal, but there are no updates regarding the status of those discussions. Meltzer also addressed the possibility of Punk signing with WWE should he no longer be under contract to AEW. We've asked about the potential for Punk here, and it appears from a creative standpoint it's not positive because most of them follow what happened in AEW. He went on to add, However, they also recognize that this is going to be a Levesque McMahon Nick Khan call, and even with some negative things said and interactions, if you are just talking business, it is something bigger than anything else they could create. Ahead of Full Gear, Britt Baker spoke to Sports Illustrated about being Soraya's first opponent in nearly five years. She says that this match is progressive for the AEW women's division, saying, quote, It's a story-driven match, it's a very compelling story, and the match is going to be even more exciting. With Soraya being medically cleared to return to the ring, Baker told Sports Illustrated she isn't worried about Soraya having limitations. She also said, I don't take this opportunity lightly. It is a challenge I welcome. Soraya is a star. She's one of the best wrestlers in the world. Not everyone knows Britt Baker. Having a match with a star of her caliber is the next step I need in my career. For the first time in its four-year history, Saturday's AEW Full Gear in Newark, New Jersey has surpassed $1 million in gate revenue. AEW head Tony Khan tweeted the news Saturday afternoon. As indicated, the number continues a run of four straight $1 million live gates for AEW pay-per-views. That's a wrap for today's video. We will be back with more news following AEW Full Gear, but in the meantime, do not forget to click that like button and subscribe to F4W online for lots more.